A very warm welcome to all the children who are watching this video session on the devices. Hope you are all fine and doing well in your homes. So today we are going to begin English literature for class 6, chapter number 1, Leaving the Valley. My name is Shoaib Khan. Let's begin the session. Now the question arises, who is Malala Yousafzai? So, she was born in 1997, Bingora, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, province of Pakistan. She was inspired by her father who was also an educational activist. Many of you know that she was an educational activist. She fought for the rights of women and children getting their education in the province of Pakistan and around the world. And later on, she won the Nobel Peace Prize of 2014 for her work. And she was the youngest Nobel Prize winner because she was at the age of 17. So, we will, this is one of our thoughts. One child, one teacher, one pen and one book can change the world. So, children, it takes only one person and it's one intention to bring the change in the world. So, that's what she thought before beginning her revolution in the field of education. Let's look at the, some of the vocabulary, some of the difficult words which will be used in this lesson. Activist. Activist is a person who campaigns to bring about a political or social change. You might have heard this term in newspaper and various videos of news that activists are protesting against, something like that. So, activist is a person who is basically protesting for the rights of something, protesting for the good or something to bring a social change in the environment, in the society. Next is composed, having one's feeling under control, meaning that you have, might have heard the term calm and composed. That is, yeah, the person is quiet and not thinking here and there. Reluctant, when you are hesitant to do any work, unwilling to do any kind of work, he was reluctant to do his job. Couldn't think straight, not being able to think straight means that the mind is going here and there and it's not concentrating on one point. Next slide please. Laden, this term you might have listened or heard in your geography textbook, moisture laden wind, that wind has moisture contained in it. So that means laden, laden means heavily loaded. Exodus. Exodus means large number of people leaving a place at one time, leaving a place together when large number of people leave the place. So that process is called Exodus. Depressed means very unhappy. Now Taliban. Taliban means a group of terrorists waging war against Afghanistan and near places. Native. Native means a place or circumstance belonging to the person by birth. Which says that, you say that uh, Unnao is your native city, that means by birth you belong to the city. So let's begin the chapter. So Malala Yousafzai is an activist for education of girls and women. She began her activism in her native Swat Valley in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Northwest Pakistan, where the local Taliban at times did not allow girls to attend the school. So the situations like that, that Talibani people were attacking the province and the uh, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Valley and because of the violence, the people has to leave the place and the education of children was also, uh, you can say, it was uh, not happening because of the violence, growing violence in the region. Okay, so in 2009, when Malala was 12 years old, the growing violence in the region forced the family to leave. So in order to survive, the family decided that she, they should leave the place. And many people of that uh, place were leaving the uh, place at the same time. So, let's move on. So in this chapter, Malala Yousafzai shares her experience of leaving her native land of Swat Valley in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, northwest of Pakistan. So this chapter contains her experience, her journey, so that what kind of difficulty she faced while leaving her native place. So this is shared in this chapter. As the Taliban forces were rising in the violence, their violence, the people of Swat Valley were compelled to leave their home for survival. Malala's father was reluctant to leave the valley, but on her mother's plea, he agreed. As we know that 
her father was also an educational activist and because of that he was hesitant to leave the valley but because of a mother's plea because of the family's survival they agreed to leave the place malala started packing her belongings but unwillingly she had to leave her school bag behind as there was no room in her uncle dr afzal's car from which the family was leaving so in that process the family start packing their stuff and malala usually also started packing her stuff but in that process because there was not enough room in the car and limited number of uh, belongings were allowed so she has to leave her school bag behind her school bag was very precious to her malala's mother father grandmother her cousins wife and a baby and her brothers were squashed into the car they decided to leave for malala's mother's village named kashwat so they decided to leave for kashwat and all the family and the family members were jam packed into the car and there was no room left on 5th may 2009 they became idp internally internally displaced person which means that on 2000 on may 5th 2009 government has declared them idp internally displaced person why they have declared that because they have left their native place and they had they didn't have any place where they belong to because the native place they have left and they don't have any place where they are they going to that is why the government has named them idp internally displaced person on their way to shangla they saw streets were streets were jam packed with people mule carts trucks laden with people and their belongings at one point in the journey the army personnel with machine guns in their hands stopped them and ordered them to return home but on malala's grandmother's crying plea they let them go so on their way when they are going to the kashwat on their way to the shangla city they were stopped by the pakistani army and the army personnel holding guns with their hand they ordered them to go back to the place where they belong to but because of the grandmother's plea crying plea they agreed and let them pass malala joined another school in kashwat along with her cousin sumbul it takes more than half an hour to reach the school from where she was leaving so eventually after all these efforts after all this difficulty they finally arrived at this kashwat place and because of a family's effort malala joined another school it was half an hour distance away and along with her cousin sumbul she joined the school because school was necessary to her education was so necessary to her so that is why even at the such long distance she carried on to, uh, on her studies and joined the another school Malala recited a poem in her school's prize giving ceremony which was about working hard to achieve heart's desire and it says a diamond must be cut many times before it yields even a tiny jewel this was the line of the poem so here the essence of this chapter contains in these lines which means that a diamond must be cut many times before it yields even a tiny jewel that's like a diamond must be cut many times has to go through many process in order to uh, become a shining jewel that is why a person who is achieving her goal who is ach- wants to achieve his desire he has to go many difficult process many difficulties has to pass on many difficulties in order to achieve that goal so this was her line So during her school time Malala kept thinking about her school bag left behind in Swat Valley which had copies of Oliver Twist Romeo and Juliet waiting to be read but now she thinks her life has become a drama waiting for its happy ending so now we know that the school bag which she left behind at the beginning of this lesson she kept on remembering about that school bag and she kept on thinking the books contained in that bag the books were oliver twist romeo and juliet basically the drama books people read for their uh, adventure contained in them drama contained in them but because of so many situations so many circumstances in her life now she thinks that her life has become a drama and she waits for an happy ending so that brings us to end of this lesson hope you liked it
Until then, stay safe, stay healthy.